Good morning, good morning, and welcome back to Good Morning Tobago right here on Tobago Updates, guys. If you are only now joining us, that's only a shame because you missed a great conversation with uh, Gary Griffith. And now as we proceed into our, our, our other conversation, we have with us on set here this morning, Assemblyman Sonny Craig. Good morning, sir. How are you doing? Oh, a pleasant good morning, a pleasant good morning. Um, always a pleasure being on Tobago Updates, I must say. Thanks for the opportunity to speak to Tobago, Trinidad, and the entire world. Oh, thank you for coming. Uh, but this morning, we're talking about the fact that your health is your wealth. And with that being said, there is a health fair that's going to be happening very soon at the uh, Canaan Bonacord Community Center. And that's being held by the Tobago Progressive Association in collaboration with the Assemblyman for Canaan. Mount Pleasant. And Buku. And Buku. Uh, yes. 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 Good morning again. Um, it's it's coming off on Tuesday. It's a it's a whole day affair, an eight to four affair, and it promises to be something special. Uh, we have on board with us, led by Miss Angela Cooper. For those of you who don't know, Miss Cooper is the lady who is instrumental in putting the, the Tobago Day celebrations together in New York annually. You know, during the summer. To be going from all around the states, and even from here they go up to celebrate or to be goodness, if there's such a word. And so she's the one who is piloting this health fair. It promises to be something special, yeah. Okay, and this health fair is open to all Tobagonians, or is it uh, specifically for members of the district Buku Mount Pleasant Canaan? It's open. There'll be another fair in the country area, one in the east, and this is the one in the west. Um, so it, there is no limit per, to say, well, we're taking people from a particular geographic location, anybody who cares to come by. Okay, yeah. and we know when it comes to a number of health-related issues in Tobago, persons mm -hmm. are prompted to go to Trinidad to mm -hmm. seek uh, medical advice or medical attention. Mm -hmm. How does this uh, health fair contribute to, you know, citizens being able to get access to some of those services that they usually have to go to Trinidad to get? Well, we are in early stages yet. Um, you know, health fair, just by the virtue of the name fair, it's, it's, it's normally a short, it's an abbreviated event. It doesn't really get into all the, all the fine points of healthcare, but it touches on critical areas. So you would not alleviate that challenge we, 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 live, we have lived with all our lives where we have to fly to Trinidad for, for, for critical care. But it will be a stopgap in the, in the sense that there is one area in particular uh, Miss Cooper asked me to identify as what's called pud puditary care, which is foot care. We have a challenge in Tobago as far as diabetes is concerned, diabetic complications. And one of the places it manifests itself is in the, in the feet. And you know, you, you get people developing sores and, and that kind of thing. So this, one of the, one of the main points of this fair is teaching persons. So it's not just to have the, the, the affected persons come by, but your caregiver is invited to be a part of this fair. If, if you could intelligently and from a knowledge base take care of, of, of these sore areas, it will go a long way in helping you deal with the stresses of, of being a caregiver. So this is something we want to teach. And um, my apologies. Yeah. This is something we want to teach. And persons are encouraged to come out. Um, the healthcare system is not ideal. We know that. And we appreciate this input being made by Tobagonians who live or part of the diaspora who live in the United States. It's not the first time they are coming. They have been here on several occasions and they are always generous when they come. They come and they give out wheelchairs and crutches and a whole list of support systems that, that ailing people might need to make their lives easier. Okay, and would any of this be done during the fair this year? Yes, definitely. There'll be giveaways. Um, there'll be basic, you know, nice little giveaways, but as it's part of their custom, they normally come along with this kind of these kinds of gifts to share. Okay, it's, and so that's I, I will say it's an unlimited supply, of course. Okay. Yeah. 
All right, and this is next Tuesday. Next Tuesday at the Canaan, Canaan Bonacore, Bonacore Community, Community Center. Center. Yeah. And seeing that it is extended to the entire uh, Tobago, yeah. well, Tobago West, that yes. is, mm -hmm. um, is it that there are particular sessions that are happening at a particular time? Because you said that it's happening from 8 to... To 4. To 4. Yes, the entire day's program. Um, there, are, there, are, there are different lectures um, on dieting, you know, um, diabetes um, progresses in an acidic environment, and the more alkaline your body is, the more, the more resistant you will be to most diseases. So, and of course, this alk alkalinity of which I speak is based mostly on a plant-based diet. Persons who um, focus more on the greens and the vegetables and the fruits and so on, they normally um, pan out better in this struggle in this struggle with the um, entire diabetes um, challenge. So the, there are lectures on dieting, and these are professionals. Um, I'm speaking as a layman based on what I was taught, not necessarily what I have experienced by treatment or so. I don't treat anybody. But um, the, the event promises to be something educational, and there'll be different sessions as we go through the day. Okay, are there any particular areas that you guys are focusing on? Let's say, for instance, oncology. Mm -hmm. What are the? I heard you spoke. You spoke uh, about diabetes, mm -hmm. but what are the key health-related areas that would be in focus for the fair? All right. So we're looking at heart disease. We're looking at, of course, di diabetes. We're looking at dietary. Um, wisdom. We're looking at, um, among other things, and of course, um, Miss Angela herself would be on set here on on Monday, and she's going to give you more details as far as the organization is concerned and the expanse of the work that they have done. They are a moving group, but they have always made Tobago um, front and center because these are professionals of Tobago heritage, um, working and living in the United States. Okay, yeah. well, we are going to take a brief break and mm -hmm. we'll be back right after this as we continue our conversation. Thank you. See you yeah. soon, guys. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to Good Morning Tobago right here on Tobago Updates, guys. Thank you so much for sticking with us. If you're only now joining us this morning, we have been talking and we have spoken this morning to Gary Griffith. And now we're talking to Assemblyman Sonny Craig about the health fair that's happening next Tuesday at the Canaan Bonacourt Community Center. Now, if you or someone in your family has some health related issue or you are a caregiver or you just like having conversations conversations or expanding your knowledge on health and wellness, this is the place for you. Uh, this morning, uh, Mr. Craig, as we talk about health, mental health is a big topic yes. and it's now kind of being mainstream and spoken about. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's uh, uh, let the people know how they can come to be engaged with conversations mm -hmm. like this at the health fair. Okay, so we have persons, um, professionals in the field of mental health comprise part of the team and they would be available for conversations for advice and of course if needs be referrals right um there as you suggested mental health is is a serious concern um it's a topic that's a bit taboo in our culture because from the time you are you are assigned or you find um, solace in speaking to somebody in the field of psychology it seems you know people brand you as you're crazy but there's a there's, that's a reality you're not crazy it's just that this body this human frame this being that we inherit or that we inhabit sorry um, is not perfect and just the way some people get problems with their heart long stomach your brain is no less and I think that it's something sometimes you, you're feeling depressed, you're feeling challenged, and you know, people come up with many different suggestions as to what might be causing depression and so on. And it's always best in these cases, I say, speak, seek spiritual help, of course, pray to the divine 
And of course, there is the option of speaking to somebody who is a professional in assessing mental health disorders. Another thing that will be happening at the fair is that we are seeking to encourage young people who are interested in the, in the medical field. Um, of course, we are blessed to have professionals right here on the island, but it wouldn't hurt to get a wider scope by having conversations with persons who do medicine from a, a larger market base. You would appreciate also that being a doctor in the United States or maybe in New York more particularly, you would, um, you would represent persons who attend to a melting pot of, of challenges. And you know, even in our islands, as we have a fairly good men, um, medical system, there is still the need from time to time to go to a higher level. And so traveling to the States for treatment, a young person, we have, we have sent out invitations to um, fourth, fifth and sixth formers who are interested in pursuing um, courses in medicine to come by and have conversations with the professionals and seek to strengthen their, um, strengthen their, their, their knowledge base. It's, it's, it's always good if you're interested in a field to seek to converse with persons practicing in that field and remove any kind of doubts or illusions you might have. So that's an open invitation for young persons who are interested in pursuing different disciplines in medicine. Excellent. So that's also a call for parents whose of course. children are interested in getting into medicine. Mm -hmm. Maybe it might help them to streamline their... Definitely. Um, and to manage your expectations. Ideas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. That is also important. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but before we go, before we wrap up, mm -hmm. let us know how have you been interacting with your um, district and yes. how is this going to help contribute to some of the needs that you've identified in your area? All right. So um, you know that the COVID epidemic and the, those who suffered as a result of the COVID epidemic, whether by loss of loved ones or just contracting the disease, there's a word that that spiraled a lot and was used a lot during the epidemic called comorbidities. And you, comorbidities are basically lifestyle diseases, preventable diseases. And these are some of the areas that this group would be tackling. So as I, as I traverse my district, Bukumon, Pazant, and Canaan, I would meet persons who I will visit who are suffering these challenges. My, my team, my district staff is trying to meet them one-on-one -on -one to ensure that they come, out, come by and, and capitalize on this, on this opportunity. Um, the Tobago lifestyle somehow lends to certain diseases. And um, without being accusatory, I would like to just touch that. It, it could be a bit touchy. So being a political person, you want to say it right. But we consume a lot of food and we over consume some foods that should be dealt with maybe on special occasions. Mm -hmm. you, would, you would have heard stories of um, long ago when there were some foods we enjoyed only on a weekend. You, we only enjoyed um, chicken on a weekend. During the week, you might mostly eat fish. That's my childhood for, coming from my era. But now you have a situation where you could consume meat every single day and it's an overkill and it affects us negatively. And um, apart from that, the starch content, the amount of dumpling we like and rice and pie and all that, these things, as tasty as they are, they need not become the dominant um, entity on our plates. There's always that call for us to do more fruits, vegetables, nuts, grains, Sometimes we need to put down the juice and just drink water. You'll, re you'll understand, and I think I, I gather that you understand also that the simple, almost bland diet is more tasty. And I've noticed in my experience, some of the most tasty food you'll ever eat are not necessarily the best food to eat. Thank you. Thank you yeah. so much, Mr. Craig, for coming on with us this morning and mm -hmm. joining us and having this conversation. Guys, remember that the health fair is taking place on the... On Tuesday, 14th. which is the 14th mm -hmm, mm -hmm. of May, mm -hmm. uh, and that would be at the Canaan Bonacol Community Center. Mm -hmm. um, be sure to come out. Lastly, before you leave, is there any transportation from Buku 
to Canaan or from Mount Pleasant to Canaan that would allow persons who mm -hmm. are unable to but, get transportation to get there yeah. to get to the fair? And my district staff is working on that. Um, I have the staff at the district office that's, inter, that's interfacing with the public and once there are challenges, we'll help them to overcome those Okay, challenges. so what number can people call to get All transportation right. to go down to the so, fair and back? So 610-6538. That's 610-6538. That's the district office number. And from there, we could make the arrangements for the assistance. Okay. And I'm guessing that more information regarding Definitely. where to meet for yes. transportation or yes. what mm -hmm. time the transportation would be ready would be published at a later date. Beautiful. Yes. All correct. right. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining mm -hmm. us. Thank you for sticking with us this morning. Thank you for liking, sharing, and commenting, and just being a part of the discussion. This morning, we had the privilege of speaking with a formula former police commissioner Gary Griffith earlier and now we have spoken with Mr. Sonny Craig who is assemblyman and the area representative for Canaan Buku Mount Pleasant and so we want to thank you again and guys thank you for joining us here on Tobago Up the number one broadcast station here on the island of Tobago guys have a great day and see you again tomorrow goodbye <laughs>